Did you know that some of the world's oldest cities are found in Africa, boasting thousands of years of history? Yes, you heard it right. Africa, a continent often overlooked for its historical significance, houses some of the oldest cities known to mankind. These cities are not just old, they are repositories of time, holding within their borders stories of ancient civilizations, epic tales of conquest and resilience, and the echoes of cultures whose roots delve deep into the very cradle of humanity. From the shining city of Carthage to the world's greatest open-air museum, Luxor, from Fustat, the first capital of Egypt, to Axum, the heart of an ancient empire, each city is a testament to Africa's rich and diverse past. So buckle up, history enthusiasts, archaeologists, tourists, and curious minds alike. Join us on this journey through time as we explore 10 of Africa's oldest cities. Starting off our list is Carthage, a city that once rivaled Rome itself. Nestled on the coast of modern-day Tunisia, Carthage was founded by Phoenician settlers around the 9th century before the Common Era. Known for its wealth and naval power, Carthage was a beacon of sophistication and grandeur during its prime. The city played a pivotal role in the Punic Wars, a series of conflicts with Rome that lasted over a century. Despite its resilience and military prowess, Carthage eventually fell to the Romans in the Third Punic War. The Romans razed the city to the ground, only to rebuild it later as one of the empire's most important centers. Over the centuries, Carthage has seen the rise and fall of empires, withstood the test of time, and witnessed the ebb and flow of human civilization. Today, Carthage's ancient ruins are a testament to its grand past and a must-visit for any history enthusiast. Next, we turn our sights to Luxor in Egypt, often called the world's greatest open-air museum. Luxor, the ancient city of Thebes, stands on the banks of the Nile, a testament to the grandeur of a bygone era. This city, once the capital of the new kingdom of Egypt, boasts a staggering array of temples and tombs, each one steeped in history and mythology. The Karnak and Luxor temples come to life as you wander through their colossal columns, while the Valley of the Kings and the Valley of the Queens Resting places of pharaohs and their consorts, whisper tales of opulence and intrigue. The city's ancient treasures are not its only claim to fame. Luxor plays a pivotal role in Egypt's tourism industry, drawing in curious minds from around the globe, eager to explore its rich history. With its wealth of ancient monuments, Luxor truly is a window into the past. Our journey continues in Fustat, the first capital of Egypt. This ancient city was founded in the 7th century by Arab conquerors, who saw its strategic location as an asset. Nestled near the Nile, Fustat became a bustling commercial hub, its markets teeming with goods from all corners of the known world. The city's vibrant history was punctuated by periods of prosperity and decline. But through it all, Fustat remained an important center of trade and culture. Its storied past is etched into the very fabric of its ruins which stand as silent witnesses to the city's former glory. Here one can find the remnants of grand palaces, bustling marketplaces and impressive mosques, a testament to the city's rich cultural and architectural heritage. These ruins offer a glimpse into a fascinating chapter of Egypt's history, from the rise of Islam to the changing fortunes of dynastic rule. Though much of Fustat now lies in ruins, the city's history lives on in its remaining structures. Next, we travel to Aksum, the heart of an ancient empire. Nestled in the northern highlands of Ethiopia, Aksum was once the bustling epicenter of the Aksumite Empire. This powerful kingdom thrived from the 1st to the 8th century, marking its reign with grand monuments and architectural wonders. One such marvel is the Obelisk of Aksum. Standing tall against the backdrop of time, this carved granite stele, adorned with false doors and windows, is a testament to the advanced engineering skills of the Aksumites. It's not just an ancient skyscraper, it's a symbol of Aksum's rich heritage. Aksum's significance in Ethiopian culture is undeniable. It's often considered the cradle of Ethiopian civilization, a place where the past and present converge. The city is a living museum, home to historical artifacts, ancient inscriptions, and royal tombs. From its ancient obelisks to its historical artifacts, Aksum offers a unique glimpse into Africa's past. Our journey through Africa's oldest cities has taken us from the shores of Tunisia to the heart of Ethiopia. We started off in the shining city of Carthage, once a powerful city-state that rivaled Rome, and a beacon of culture and trade in the ancient world. Its ruins whisper tales of a bygone era, 
of Punic Wars and Roman conquests, reminding us of the ebb and flow of civilizations. Then we move to Luxor, the world's greatest open-air museum. Its grandeur is evident in every corner, from the colossal statues of pharaohs to the intricate hieroglyphs that adorn the walls of its temples. Luxor is a testament to the artistic and architectural prowess of the ancient Egyptians, a civilization that continues to fascinate us to this day. From there we travel to Fustat, the first capital of Egypt. Now a suburb of modern-day Cairo, Fustat was once a bustling metropolis, its bustling streets echoing with the sounds of merchants and traders from far and wide. Its unique blend of cultures and traditions is a testament to Africa's historic role as a global crossroads. We ended our journey in Aksum, the heart of an ancient empire. Once a hub of commerce and religion, Aksum was home to one of the most powerful kingdoms of the ancient world. Its towering obelisks and ancient ruins are silent witnesses to a civilization that was part of the web of global trade routes, connecting Africa to Europe and Asia. Each city, in its own unique way, contributes to the rich tapestry of Africa's history. They stand as silent witnesses to the passage of time, their stories interwoven with the stories of the people who once lived, loved, and dreamed within their walls. As we've seen, each of these cities holds a piece of Africa's rich and diverse history, offering travelers a unique opportunity to step back in time and experience the continent's past firsthand.